have been reflecting on Holy Week, we saw that Jesus was condemned to die in a mock trial. But in fact, this was the reason he came to earth. And after being on the cross for six hours, he cried out to God and asked for forgiveness for those who crucified him. How hard it is to forgive others. His body was taken down from the cross. His side had been pierced with a spear and blood and water had poured out from him. He was dead. What happened on Saturday? Jesus rested in the tomb while his disciples observed the Jewish Sabbath. We cannot begin to imagine how they felt, their confusion, their fear, their emptiness. The body of Jesus lay in the tomb where it was guarded by Roman soldiers throughout the day on Saturday, which was the Jewish Sabbath. When the Sabbath ended at 6 p.m., the body of Christ was treated for burial with spices purchased by Nicodemus. He brought about 75 pounds of perfumed ointment and they wrapped the body of Jesus with sheets of linen and those spices. Nicodemus, like Joseph of Arimathea, had lived as secret followers of Jesus. They were afraid to make a public profession of their faith in case they would be persecuted and even, like Jesus, put to death. But now something happened to them Something about the death of Christ transformed them and they came out of their hiding, willing to identify themselves as true followers of Christ. They cared for the body of Jesus and prepared it for burial. While his physical body lay in the tomb, Jesus Christ paid the penalty for sin by offering the perfect spotless sacrifice. But would that price he paid be enough? Would it be answered by God? Would God accept the sacrifice for the sins of the world that would depend on Christ rising from the dead? If this could happen, then he'd purchase forgiveness for all mankind and offers eternal life to all who put their trust in him. The disciples waited with bated breath. There never was a more deafening silence. Thank you for taking the time to be with me today. I look forward to being with you tomorrow for the most exciting reflection of all.